Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Real Values. On this week's episode, I discuss Perfect Days. If viewers were not on board with Vim Vendors' subtly drawn human dramas, Perfect Days will unlikely convert them into Vendors' believers. However, Vendors' fans, old and new, will appreciate the quietness and sensitivity of his craft in an era when most movies are aggressive in their sensibilities. The story of a public toilet cleaner, Koji Hashimoto's Hirayama, committing to his routine as he meets and reconnects with people in Tokyo, has been compared to the work of Yasujiro Ozu in its 4x3 aspect ratio, minimalism, and observant view of life for its lead character. The Ozu influence is notable but not glaringly apparent since Perfect Days perfectly represents Vendors' art and his ideas. Some of his ideas about appreciating the mundane aspects of life and enjoying connections while they happen are integral to Vendors' previous work. Going to the home country of his mentor, Ozu, the Opportunity in Japan through the lead performance of Hashimoto refreshes these ideas within Vendors' oeuvre. Much of the film features no dialogue since the audience watches Hirayama commit to familiar tasks with the occasional infusion of elegantly conceived black and white dream sequences. Perfect Days is charming and effortless in its creation of simplicity through Hirayama's experiences and how he tries to make it in a landscape ahead of his time. When conflicts arise, familial and occupational, the scenes provide insights into Hirayama's reliance on routine and departure from a wealthy family to lead his life. Each situation evolves to a climax where Hirayama experiences a juxtaposition of smiling and holding back tears as he listens to Nina Simone's feeling good on his travel to work. In the movie's conclusion, the genuine handling of catharsis reminds fans of why Vendors is a master at executing pathos delicately and how it moves the audience more deeply than the average blockbuster with a loud score in the background. Through his gentle optimism, Vendors conveys how life can be challenging, but also beautiful and enriching for each individual as they continue. Some people deem the film as smug and classist toward Hirayama, but the movie is, in my eyes, the complete opposite. The explanation might suggest more about the critics who criticize Perfect Days, since they might privately look down upon people in custodial positions while presenting a public humanist facade. Anyways, long live Vim Vendors. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.